Good evening everyone and welcome to this Invictus Racing League uh, working in partnership with RacingLineMP.com Hope you're okay well, we are at the glorious race of Australian Albert Park Beautiful place and we're watching the fantastic F3 League um, This is the first, obviously this is the first race of the new season um, Watching the pre-season races, uh, there's some interesting stuff, obviously Aaron J Spence was really good in a few pre-season races but unfortunately because of the pace he has moved up to f2 so it'll be interesting to see how these guys can capitalize on it i have got some stats for uh for all the, the drivers tonight if they're available and stuff but looking at it now it's oh it's a beautiful dry quality but we don't know what's going to happen in the race so we have to find out from the weather crew to see if they let us know what's going on but uh uh, just looking at it now, uh, obviously quite a few drivers still trying to prep up. Now, with Albert Park, it's like one of those fantastic classic tracks. I think it's been there since 96, 1996. 22 years, fantastic, fantastic stuff. Um, I've, I've personally loved the track overall. Um, would I ever drive on it in real life? I would definitely would do. Um, would I ever driven? Do I do around here? Really good. Um, probably. That's bad timing. <laughs> but with the uh, the um, with the Alba Park, with the the league stuff in in Australia, it's. I prefer like racing around it. Um, I didn't have much luck in the No Assist League on Monday night. Um, and unfortunately we didn't get any race from the performance leagues last night because of obviously PSN issues hopefully that will be all sorted um, well it's all sorted now but we're just watching some of the drivers coming out now I think F1 Richards come out first then it's Craig who's in the Toro Rosso oh Mike right so we're just watching F1 Richard now doing this lapping uh, well, do the actual outlapping. Now, F1 Richard, now he didn't join the league till F1 2017, season two of Invictus Racing. And in, in the league standings, he got 20th. Um, and then he got 10th last season when the F3 actually formed. Um, but looking at it now, I mean, the last time we raced in Australia was in, F, F, um, in the F2 season, um, season two. He did. He, he got tenth. He just nicked the last point of the um, the top ten, and he got that perfectly. But from what I've seen, anyway, he's doing absolutely well. He's improved since he joined, and he's. I keep saying it every week. He's improving every everything. But um, but can he capitalise and keep that consistency and mount a a top half finish or possibly a top three finish? I think personally, I think he could do well. Um, I think, I mean, good evening to whoever's just commented, sorry. Um, I will get the, um, the comments up. So, I do apologise now. Just waiting for it to load. Just waiting for it to load. Now, if you just commented, sorry, could you, could you repeat that again, please? Because uh, my phone's just played up. So, watching F1 Richard now coming up to his first proper lap of the season. Uh, F1 2018 Season 1 of the Invictus Racing League for F3. What can he do around Albert Park? He's going around here. I think around here, a 121 or 122 will be a perfect lap around here. So he's done a 27 seconds around here. He's done okay so far. I think if you can get into the 26s, that'll be a proper, proper lap in. But looking at it now, he's doing everything possible. And he's going around... What I, that's always the awkwardest corner just before you get the long straight and then you do this the fast chicane and stuff um, but yeah it's just absolutely insane it's just perfect around here uh, I just want to say good evening to SJD1988 hope you're okay well I do apologise you just you did say good evening so I hope you're okay well and enjoy the, the race tonight um, what's your predictions guys if you're watching what's your predictions for tonight who do you think will prove you Proved. Oh, F1 Richards just messed up. He's messed up the last few corners here. Absolutely messed up. What can he do? What what time would he do? He'd probably get a 124. 
one, twenty three, four. That's the fastest lap of the race so far. So, what can Craig's gone back into the pits now? Oh, Stephen there, Brennan's. Uh, Mike's done a one, twenty three, one in the Toro Rosso. Fantastic lap from him. That is still slow. I predicted twenty ones or twenty two, low twenty twos, high twenty ones. I mean, it's just absolutely insane stuff. I'm just watching Brennan's now. Uh, Nodjiko stood up to 123.9 on the Super Softs. Actually, Mike's done it, that 23.1 in the Super Softs. That is a cracky lap, actually. Captain Steve done it 24. Oh, Brennan's has done it 122.7. I did say it would hit the 22s, but he's done a fantastic lap there. Brennan's. I mean, Brennan's. Uh, Brennan's. He joined, again, he joined. Oh, Pablo! Pablo! Pablo done a 122.4 in the ultras. That is a cracking lap from him. Absolutely cracking lap. As I was saying about Brennons, uh, Brennons did, uh, he finished ninth in his first, uh, oh, Spud has done a 122.3. What the? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it, guys. What a lap. Uh, BAD Bay Clyde has done a 122.4. Ferocious Stan done a 122.4. Gazamos done a 122.7. Collins done a 121.8. I predicted a 21 high 21s, and that is a cracking lap from him. Absolutely cracking lap. I will go back to Brennan's in a bit, but Colin on his debut, well, on his debut season of Invictus uh, properly in the uh, F3 League, that is a cracking lap from him. And what can he do? What can he do? Um, SJD says Spud for Paul. I reckon mid to low 21s, considering pace and performance, no assists. I think you might be right there, SJD. You might be spot on there. But what can Tejwa do? Tejwa in the Ferrari tonight. Uh, Tejwa. Tejwa's had um, an indifferent seasons of the stats. I mean, he's from F1 uh, from the 2017 season one. He did 21st. Then he got to 14th in season two. Then when F3 formed, he'd got 12th. What can he do tonight? I mean, he got 12th in the last race of the 2017 season two when he was F2. So Tedro will need to try and improve and get a good lap around here. Uh, he's going to try and do a proper lap in now. He needs to try and do that. I mean, the Ferraris look, uh, it needs, I don't know if Craig's just going to try and hold on for there, but Tej will try and do his proper lap in now. He's got to get a good lap for the Ferraris, but Tedro, uh, oh, oh, he's messed. He nearly lost uh, the first corner. He nearly lost the first corner. I don't know if that will be enough. I don't know if that might be an invalidated lap. It might be an invalidated lap. We'll have to wait and see, depending on the, the end of the race. But look at it now. I mean, it's going to be tough because I think there'll be. I think Tej, Craig, Spud will battle it out for the top. I think. Um, personally, it just depends on how the guys. I'm just doing it based on previous seasons and in the pre-season races as well this season. Looking at it now, Tedra is doing a proper lap in. He's, that corner, is always that corner that gets me every time when I race around Albert Park. Don't get me wrong, I love the track. Personally love the track. A 49.3 from Tedra. That is a good sector th two time. I think you probably need to get 48s. High 48s, low 49s. But he's doing okay so far on the lap. But what can the others do? But look at it now. It's just absolutely immense stuff. It absolutely immense stuff. Uh, Tom going through the last few corners now. He's got to get it smooth. Try to avoid what F1 Richard did earlier in the race. In the in the, in the qualifying just. He's got the DRS. He's got to get 21. He's got to get 22s possibly. 22-6. 22-6-4. He needs to improve a hell of a lot to try and catch up. But watch it. Oh, uh, uh, come. Okay, that's weird. Found a notice book. Um, notice issue. Sorry, uh, I can't even get to the other drivers. So watching. Oh, Stephen now. Um, oh, Stephen. Uh, oh, Stephen. Oh, Stephen. Last season in the F3 League, he got 15th overall in the standings. He has not raced in Albert Park in the F3 League or previous F2 races before. So, again, his debut race, would you say, in um, Australia. But what can he do? What can O'Steven do on his proper lapping now? He's going through the Renault car now, going full pelch here, coming up to the first corner now. What can he do around here? Oh, that's a perfect... Try to avoid the grass... At, at every cost and he's done that perfectly he needs to get i always put a marker that bridge that just he just went past i always aim for the 11 seconds 
as a driver you know which sectors and what times you need to aim for but that's just my preference anyway but looking at it now oh steven on the super soft tire he needs to get 27 20 27 9 obviously it's in the super soft tire but he needs to try and improve if he can try and get back into there tedrois done a faster lap he just missed it out by four hundreds of a second what a lap from tedge what a lap from him that is that is some absolutely in outstanding stuff uh, and I was speaking to try to get some statements from the Ferrari earlier t like this week and they were saying no statements they, they want to do their talking on the track and tell you what Tedge one of the teammate is proving that uh, definitely there but what can Craig do Craig's still in the pits at the minute but what can O'Steven do O'Steven coming up to the last few corners now he needs to try and get some good, decent laps in. Uh, we've got yellow flags in sectors one and two. Not sure where from, but I'm still watching O'Steven Steven now coming up to the last few corners now. He'll probably get a 23. I do apologise. 124-2. Still not enough. The two Renaults are outside the top ten at the minute, but what can they do? Uh, just watching N Notorious doing this out lap now. Uh, Notorious, a former F2 champion. Um, obviously, he won in 2017 season one then he got 16th in season two of 2017 of the f2 league and then in the f3 league when last season he got eighth in the league standings now notorious um got fifth last time we raced in uh in alba park so he might this is might be a chance here but obviously new rules new game new new setups anything can happen New cars, everything. But what can you do? What can Notorious do? If he can get a perfect lap in with the Mercedes and try and get team up with his teammates. Team up with his teammate? We'll have to wait and see how it goes. But here we go. Oh! Was that... Was that Pat? Oh, someone moved up, but I couldn't, didn't know who it was. Um, just watching Notorious now. Coming up to the few corners now. What can he do? What can he do if he beats in QZ? Here we go. What can he do? Mike's just moved up to second. Mike's just moved up to second. He fought. Oh my god, he's just missed out by two thousands of a second. Mike. Mike. I was speaking to him just before the race. He was saying to me, he only wants to finish the race. I think he only wants it to win the race tonight. That is absolutely insane lap. But can he be Colin? Uh, Colin? 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 Uh, be Colin tonight. We'll have to wait and see how he goes. What does Notorious do? In the ultra soft tyre, what can he do? 27.3? Uh, I'm sure he did a 49 seconds there. But absolutely insane. Boy, absolutely insane lap from Mike. Will we get a lower time? We've got coming up, just going under six minutes left of this Invictus Racing League. Uh, working in partnership with RacingLineMP.com. Um, uh, this is absolutely insane stuff for uh, the F3 league. Ah, oh, Notorious is going back into the pits. I understand. I think he may have had an invalidate lap. Craig. Um, oh, he's just locked up there with the super. He's on the super soft tyre. So he's going to do his lap in now. I'm going to watch Craig now. Craig joined uh, in the F2 season, season one. He got third overall in the league standings. And obviously, in the last two seasons, um, he has not. He was joining the like F2, like proper F2. Everyone just retired from the session. I'm not sure what actually happened. But Ferocious Dan, newcomer of the Invictus Racing League, F3 League, has moved up to fourth. He's just passed to Spud and Pablo and Fasconi. That was a cracking lap from him. Absolutely cracking lap. But where's, where's Craig now? Craig's the only one who's, well, except for Notorious, who's gone back to the pits. But he's the only one on track who's not done a lap in yet. But what can he do? What can he do in the Super Softs? This depends. He, he was again was saying with earlier with the Ferraris that they, they're making no statements, no comments, nothing. They just said in the statement there, just no comments. We do our talking in the race, and uh, obviously Ted is doing that at the minute. But what can Craig do? Can he match his teammate and try and beat him? Uh, it's going to be tough because I think the tie wear around Albert Park is a little bit harsher. I think. Um, unless you think of it differently, guys. Um, send us your views. What you think of Albert Park? What you think of the track? What do you think would happen? Um, it'd be fantastic. We've got yellow flags on sector one now, but what can Craig do? Craig's doing 22s. 
He's done a 22.6. That's a good lap from a super soft. Cracking lap from him. Cracking, cracking lap. What can Ferrari Shistan do? Ah, uh, he's going back to the pits. Um, Gazaman. Gazaman. He's going to do his lapping now. Gazaman. Um, when he joined in F2, Season 2, he got 18th overall. And then he got um, 11th last season in the league standings. But Gazaman. Uh, Gazaman, Gazaman. I don't think he raced last time in the... Um, I'll, I'll confirm that later. But I don't think he raced in Albert Park when it happened. Um, just when I see Gazaman doing a proper lapping now. So this may be his debut Australian Grand Prix of um, with Invictus. We have to wait and see how Gazaman does. Now, I was very impressed with him. Considering he hadn't done any practice in... Well, he joined late in Austria in the pre-season. And then he got a podium out of nowhere which is a cracking cracking um fantastic uh uh what do you call it no fantastic drive from him absolutely fantastic we've got yellow flags in sectors two and three now we don't know where they're coming from now but we're watching still watching gazaman yellow flags in sector three still trying to get a proper lapping now what can he do i think i reckon he could get top five if he could get some perfect exit around here he might do well it's perfect it's perfect what can he do what can he do oh he's got third oh he misses up a four thousands of a second from second place from from mike oh my god what a lap from gazaman i told you top five and i predicted it right oh, unbelievable stuff we've got yellow flags in sector three now uh still watching i might see if fascone Ah, uh, the flying Irishman. Now I'll call him the flying Irishman, the family man. What can you do with Fasconi? Fasconi, he has, he joined last season in the F3 league. He joined in, he got ninth uh, overall of the league standings. But overall, um, I want to see how he can do tonight. But we've got one minute 30 left nearly. We've got 21, 21. Oh, what a lap! What a lap from Fasconi! What a lap! Unbelievable! Collins, Collins lost it on the last, uh, I can't remember what turn it was now, but that's just like insane stuff, absolutely insane stuff. Um, SJD says, uh, a tie where on the softs is okay, they run for days. We will be interested to see if anyone takes a gamble and qualifies reasonably high on the supers, as they'll be slower for the first few laps, but then have the advantage for the rest of the race. I do agree, SJD, I do absolutely agree with that, because I was mentioning, just about to mention about the, the tie strategies. If anyone going on ultras, they could do the one stop. They could go on ultras up to lap six, seven, and then do the softs all the way to the end. But obviously that will be slower. Whoever's on the super softs can do well. They can go longer, as you said, and try and go on the softs, or maybe doing two ultras to two stop. It just depends on how everyone does it. But watching Mike now, what can Mike do? Mike, um, oh, like I said earlier, he said he really wants to finish the race. I know I said it earlier, but he really wants to finish this race. But he's doing a cracky lap. I tell you what, what can Fasconi do? What, what can Mike do? What can anybody do? Who knows? But what can Mike do? Uh, I think that'll be a slower lap than the last one. Oh, no, it's, this is a proper lapping, sorry. I take that back. Uh, Fasconi's pitted. Tom's two tenths. Tom is two tenths up. Oh, Fasconi. Yeah, Fasconi went back into the pits, I just saw. So he is retired in the pit lane. We are time, so the, the fans have stopped bottom the Crystal Maze. But we are not stopping yet. We've still got two and a half, two, two minutes 50. So Spud has, reti has retired as well. We've got the yellow flags sectors one, two, and three. Two and three now. But what can Tom do? What can Tom do? What can he do on the Ferrari, on the Ultras? Oh, one of the Mercedes. I think that was, no, that was, um, I think that was a spud, went into the wall, I think, might be wrong, but going wide there, what can Tom do, Tom, oh, he's slowed a little bit down there, but I don't know if he's me he messed up, he messed up on that last corner there, but what can, what can Mike do, can he improve his time, I have to wait and see how it goes, if you're enjoying the race, Send, send more comments, send everything. We want to see what's going to happen next. But, oh, this is absolutely unbelievable. Oh, I nearly hit the wall there again, Mike. 
Oh, ERS is gone. Oh, <laughs> Mike's just got moved on to second, but he misses out. What can Peter McLean do? I think he won't. No, he won't improve. But what can Brennan's do? Ah, uh, Fascari done a fastest lap. Mike's just missed out by four hundredths of a second. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Oh my God! What what do we do? Um, what we do? What do we do? Uh, just waiting for Brennan's to finish off the uh, the qualifying. But as you can see, standings. I think it's absolutely intense stuff. And I tell you what, I tell you what, Fasconi, Mike, have proved me wrong tonight. I said this in the podcast, um, in my podcast, uh, just before the races started. Absolutely, absolutely, ins like I didn't think Mike or Fasconi. I know it's only race one, and it's only race one of season one of 2018 of the Invictus Racing League, F3 League. But that was a cracking lap, and that is the start of a boost now. That should be the boost to get there, but can they capitalise? Now, if I remembered it right, um, with Fasconi, Fasconi, um, he's always unlucky. He, he does well with qualifying, and this is based on the performance leagues that I've seen in the past. Fasconi does well in the um, in the uh, the qualifying, but he always struggles in the race. I'm hoping that doesn't get repeated in the F3 league tonight because that is a cracking lap from him. I'm going to see some cracking battles from Fasconi, Mike and possibly Colin with that. But anything can happen in an F1 race. Anything can happen. We just have to wait and see how it goes now. But we're just watching for the race classification now. But SJD, great lap from Fasconi. Good to see him challenging. I absolutely agree with you there, SJD. Absolutely agree with you on that one. I've never seen that one before. And he's it was just absolutely unbelievable stuff. And the two Toro Rossos, one, two from two, the Toro Rossos. Fantastic. Unbelievable stuff. Uh, we've got Fast going in first. Mike second. Colin J in third. Uh, Gazaman fourth. Tej in fifth. Paolo sixth. Uh, Ferocious Dan seventh in his debut season. Uh, Suspud eighth. Uh, Nitro Gash ninth. BW Clyde tenth. Uh, Craig, the original Flying Scotsman, in eleventh. Brennan's is in twelfth. F1 Richard is in thirteenth. Notorious is in fourteenth. Captain Stiff is in 15th, and Al Steven is in 16th place. That is your race classification for Australia. So we're just waiting for the, um, the drivers now to uh, get the sums prepped up for the the start of the F3 season, the F3 league, unbelievable! I can't wait. I've enjoyed pre-season races. If you haven't watched them, go and watch it on the Invictus Racing League YouTube channel. It's all the uh, the races from the F3 league shows on there. It's just absolutely immense stuff, especially the Austrian Grand Prix in the pre-season race one two weeks ago. Three in the beds, two in the beds. Now you probably hear what the hell I'm saying. Two in the beds, three in the beds. I'm on about like three cars around coming up to a corner. Who who can like hold up? Who can brave enough to hold that corner and win that corner and determine to keep that corner? And you'll probably see some random Mittler's acts and stuff, but it's just absolutely gonna be a mad season and I can't wait for it. Absolutely can't wait for it. Um if it was me for the top what's your like obviously for the guys who have not predicted yet, send us your top three. Um for the guys for my prediction, I think boy, <coughs> I think Mike Gazaman and Tej. I think that yeah, I think them three, based on what I've seen, I think that they'll be in the top three. I might be wrong, but if, I'm not a betting man. <laughs> That's it. So we're still waiting for the guys to prep up and stuff. But, I mean, overall, the the person who's had the best best uh, record last time in Australia was Notorious. He got fifth overall, based on the guys that were here as well. 
uh, some of the guys that are still uh, from the F2 league a few seasons ago. So, be interested to see how Notorious does it. Um, he's had a, a little bit of a, uh, a struggle in qualifying tonight, but again, if you struggle in the qualifying but you do good in the race, you have to prove it wrong. And the guys are prepping up now. I can't wait for it. We're just doing the formation lap for that one. So, uh, just waiting for the guys to prep up on this one now. Just waiting for a few one now. Um, Hello and welcome from Albert Park, Australia for today's race. And I think it's shaping up to be a classic. Just south of Melbourne's downtown business centre is the one and only Albert Park circuit. 3.3 miles of public roads, closed for the weekend of course, make for a bumpy circuit with little undulation. There are 16 corners around the lake and a couple of good passing opportunities here as well. Thanks in part to the DRS zones into turns 1, 3 and 13. So we're just getting prepped up, ready for it now. Uh... So SJD says Frasco, Mike and Craig for the podium starting on fresh starting on fresh tires. I that's a really good choice actually to be fair. But again, the reason why I didn't pick Frasco is because uh, as I said earlier, it's he does struggle in the he does well in the qualifying, but can he do in the races? I know this is the first race of the season one of twenty eighteen F one twenty eighteen game. But it could be different. I could be different, I don't know, but it just depends how it goes. But I'm just getting everything prepped up and ready to go. So look at it now. So interesting tyre choices for the bottom half. Oh, Stevens gambling for the ultra softs. Uh, Captain Stitch going for the soft tyres, the longest. Same with Brennons. Sorry. So they might go up to lap 20 and then they go to the ultras or the super softs. It just depends on how they can do it. Uh, SJD says he'll prove you wrong, Mark. Uh, I'll, I will not be surprised with the uh, the flying Irishman. I will not be surprised. If he does, fair play to him. Uh, but I'm just seeing what I've seen in the past and stuff. So it's <laughs> interesting to see how it goes. But again, Mike did a cracking lap. The two tyre rosters, one, two. Never seen that before. Um, you got uh, I'd say good evening to Rick. How you doing, mate? Um, absolutely unbelievable stuff. Uh, we've got Colin Jane in third. You've got Gazaman in fourth. Terge in fifth. Palo in sixth. Uh, Ferocious Dan. Oh. What's happened there? Not sure what's happened there. Um, okay. That's a bit random. So, the guys have just probably just got disqualified by hitting the wall stuff. But, we do sorry for any technical difficulties. Um... Uh, uh, Rick says, uh, good thanks, you guys, how are you? Uh, I'm alright, I'm looking forward to the new, brand new season F3, uh, F3 League of the Invictus Racing League. I can't wait for it, I can't wait for it, and I can't stop repeating it because it's just going to be epic, absolutely epic. So we're going to watch, the guys are prepped up, ready, and up for it now. And they're all ready on the start and finish, start finishing line now, all prepped up, ready for the red lights to come on now. Come on, you can do it if you're being queued. Come on, we have got one light, two lights, three lights, four lights, five red lights, and we are go, go, go. We have started the Invictus Race League F3 League. Oh, great start, great start. Oh my god, this is unbelievable stuff. Oh, god, oh, jeez, Louise, did you not want to get caught up there? Uh, Mike's dropped down to sixth. Vasco is still holding on for first. Nigel Gash has dropped down. F1 Rich has dropped down. What? Two in a bed. Two in a bed. Oh, you be Oh, what's going on here? Oh, I didn't want to close there. But who was that ferocious that moved up to six there? That was a great move from here. I just saw it in the top corner. Oh, who is that? Gone. Notorious has dropped right down to 13th. Craig's moved up to 12th now. Oh, my God. What a absolute belter. Belter of laps from the first ones. What can Paolo do? Oh, my God. Oh, who's that? 
Is that the Haas? Oh, Pala, what a move! What a move! Unbelievable stuff! Oh, well, Stevens moved up to 14th now, past Brennons. Both, oh, two, oh my god! No, do not do this! Do not do this! Do not do this! Oh my god, Brennons! Unbelievable stuff! Oh, this is brought back into the game! Oh my god, what does. I thought Suspun was going to go for it there. Absolutely, absolutely unbelievable stuff. Absolutely unbelievable. I do not know what happened at the, the, the first corner, or the first few corners, but that was just insane stuff. Oh, Palos, Palos closed in. Oh, Mike, what can he do? Pascal's got the fastest lap of 131 on the first lap. He's side by side. Oh, little bit of touch. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Oh, touch, colour. Uh, collision there, a little bit of tap there, but Mike's dropped down to eight. Oh my god, who was that? I think that was Nigel Gas. I think that was Nigel Gas. Oh, side by side, beat him in Clyde Mike. Oh, because Mike's lost a bit of his front wing. He tapped a little bit to beat him in Clyde, but everyone has just moved up to ninth now. Unbelievable stuff. Absolutely unbelievable. Oh my god. Oh, what's going on here? Oh. Notorious is going for the inside. Oh, side by side. Oh, what a... Oh, collision. There is a collision. Oh, my God. Unbelievable stuff here. Oh, what's going on here? F1 Richard and Craig, what is going on there? What is going on? We had, some cra we had a cracking first lap. And now that I saw a few incidents there, that's just... I'll have to watch it again in full detail, but I probably just saw the aftermath of it. But A.B. Dibber closed closing on Mike now uh, for 8th place, respectively. But Brenos is closing on Notorious now for 10th uh, place, respectively. But unbelievable stuff. But Mike, Mike is struggling. Mike will need to pit. If, he, if he's got damage, he's got to have to pit. Yeah, he's going to pit. Um, look at it now. Gazamash closing in on... Um, Gazaman's closing on Fasconi, and he's proved me wrong so far. It's only been three laps so far of the Victor's Racing League F3 League. He is holding on. SCD is proving me wrong as well by saying Fasconi will prove me wrong. I don't know who to prove me wrong. I've already have on that one. Unbelievable stuff. Um, uh, there's still going on here. Uh, I think Craig's still intact with the, the car at the minute, but look at it now. Paolo closing in on Ferocious Dan. Uh, for fifth place, uh, I think that's the. Cl oh no, Gazaman! Gazaman's closing on Fasconi. Fasconi's struggling a little bit. Again, the Ultrasofts only last about s five, possibly five to seven laps, maybe more if you can hold it on. But again, will they can hold on? They'll hopefully they'll give them up. But not Rick. I'm not going to uh, sing the Rick's Rick Anthony song. I'm not going to sing that again. Um, uh, Rick says, wow, there's a battle everywhere. You won't have a voice after this race, Mark. I've said this at the Australian, Austrian Grand Prix, and that was a cracker of a start. And this is a cracker of a start. Unbelievable stuff. But Brennan's is closing on Notorious now for ninth place. What can he do? I want to try. Gazaman's closing in. Gazaman's closing in on Fasconi now. Got the toe. Fasconi's going for the middle. Gazaman's going for the inside. Oh, nearly. Nearly touched, but because of that, Collins brought back in in in, 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 in this. It's just unbelievable stuff. Absolutely unbelievable. Oh, Fasco is holding on. He's holding on for dear life here. Oh, my God. Absolutely unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I need a drink quickly. Oh. Oh, yes. Right. Palos closing in on Ferocious Stan. Ferocious Stan is on his debut season of the F3 League. Um, again, I've not seen much of his pace uh, in the past. Previously, obviously, this is his debut season. But look at it now. He's doing re really well to hold it on for fifth place. But look at it now. There's only little bits of, little bits of uh, closing in action here. But Gazaman gets that exit perfectly. This is a chance now. He's got a DRS. Fasco did a mistake on that one. Gazaman's going for the inside. Bond, unbelievable. Oh, a little bit of touch. So Spud's retired. What happened? Oh, he's crashed. He's crashed. He must have caught the grass 
after the last chicane. We've got four car. We've got a four car battle here for the top place. Gazabag moved off the first after that. Absolutely unbelievable stuff. Absolutely unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Oh, I won't stop saying it because this is a cracking race. Craig's closing on F1 Richard. He was closing on F1 Richard. But, oh my God. Ah, unbelievable. So Spud, I said, he was speaking to me before the race. He said he thought the Ferrari was running scared because of the statement earlier in the pre-season to say no statement to do it in the race. So Spud would be like, he's, he's ha he was happy with his setup, but he, he'll be really in cross mode now. Uh, SGD said the fast curves on the fast chicane are lethal and you are right there sunshine you are absolutely right there but Colin J closing in on fast guarding coming up to the oh he nearly touched there hopefully not to touch anymore but Tej Tej is closing in on Colin because Colin's trying to get the gap through to fast guarding Tej is going for the look like he was going to go for the outside where Colin would have gone for the inside but slow down a little bit to try and avoid that but absolutely insane stuff but BW Clyde notorious I'm not sure what happened there I don't think Derek Clyde has had a little bit of an issue there, but Notorious has passed him. So, still holding on. Still holding on. But, oh, Notorious has hit the grass because of that. He's moved on to seventh now, Derek Clyde. Not oh, Brennan's just moved on to eighth. Unbelievable stuff. Uh, Rick says, oh, yes, a lot of people paid the price there in no assist. Uh, two right there. Absolutely right there, Sunshine. But what can Palo do? Palo's closing there on Ferocious Dad. Come up to the fast. Should be easy enough before the inside first corner. Oh, he's doing it perfect. What a move. But where's Colin? Colin's coming up to the first. Sorry, the second, third. I don't know which corner, but he's moved. He's moved up to second now. What a move. What a move. Uh, Beater and Clyde, it's got a five second stop go penalty. Uh, Beater and Clyde and Notorious has got a uh, going to the pits now. But C Craig and F1 Richard moved up. To eighth and ninth respectively, but look at it now. Ferrari started closing on on Palo, F1 is closing on uh, Craig, but we might have a three car battle from Colin J. We might have a three car battle. Uh, Isha D says me included. Uh, you, I, I tell you what, the corner here. If you get this spot on around here, it's just absolutely you. You'd be laughing at yourself. But they're, they're trying to be cautious around there, which is understandable. But you don't want to be too, too cautious. No, that's the right word to say. But Ferocious is down. Close the on on Palo now. Uh, still in sixth place. Uh, fast going needs to pit. The tires are done. SGD said that. Yeah, I do agree. But what does Colin do? Does he pit as well? I don't think he pits. Oh, Tej has pitted. Tej has pitted. That means Colin and Fascoli have are still going for another lap. Same with Gazaman. They all go for another lap in. Uh, Rick says, oh, really? In the event? Uh, in the evident Phil and Seth speak with. Oh, OK. Uh, Fascari. Uh, Fascari. Uh, Ferocci stand closing on Palo uh, for fourth place. Absolutely brilliant view of the uh, the Alba Park at the Australian Grand Prix. Uh, if you only just joined us, we have had some cracking, cracking first lap of the new season. Um, We've had a few DNFs, a few crashes here and there, but hopefully that does a knock-on effect to the rest of the season. But looking at it now, it's just going to be... Oh, I can't wait for the rest of the season because it's going to be an eventful season. What does Craig do? Craig... Oh, two teammates of the Ferraris. They're doing really well. Tej has pitted for the new Supersofts, but Craig is on the old Supersofts. Will they do team orders here or will they just go for it? Uh, SGD said, no, nope, a separate one off camera managed to stay out of the wall, luckily. Oh. This is regarding the corner, uh, the fast chicane we were just on about earlier. If you just joined, guys. Uh, Fascari did a, a brilliant, brilliant lap. Um, Gazaman's pitted. Does Colin pit? No. No, Colin doesn't. Oh, yeah, uh, no. Colin and Fascari do not pit. Um... Absolutely unbelievable stuff. Uh, Gazamo's pitting for the Super Softs. So he's pitting for the Super What does Palo do? He's going for the Super Softs as well. What does Fasconi do? Fast Fasconi, closest one in the top two at the minute with Colin. Surely these two drivers are absolutely tired. So we're screaming their heads off to say, Pit, P 
pit, pit, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Um, what do you think, guys? Who do you think has been improved so far? It's, I know it's only eight laps of the 29 lap race, but who's improved or who has done well so far? Who has thought you should have done well this season? We have to wait and see. Oh, getting that drink in now. But Pascal is closing in on Colin. Colin looks like he's struggling. Still on uh, two on that one, but still holding on. Uh, SJD says, impressed by Colin and Gazaman. I do agree with that one. Colin, impressive so far. Gazaman, and I knew he was going to do well from the moment he did that Aust Austrian Grand Prix. I knew he would do well this season, so he'll be the one to watch. Colin's made a mistake. Colin's made a mistake. He's got to pit. Oh, he's, he should have pitted. So fast got it. Oh, but it's gone wide. Turn in the bed. Oh, what a move. Oh, <laughs> what a move from Gazaman. What a move. Unbelievable stuff. Absolutely unbelievable. Uh, Ferocious Dad has pitted for the soft tyre. Ted, Ted has done the fastest lap of 125.9. That is a cracking lap from him. He moves up to fifth after everyone's pit stops now. But look at it now. It's just absolutely unbelievable stuff. Absolutely unbelievable. Um, but yeah, it's just absolutely insane stuff. Um, Rick says, hard to tell. There's a lot of new names on the track. But yeah, Gazman do very well. But yeah, Gazman, he'll be the one to watch for this season if he can keep this up. Uh, Notorious has got a three-second time penalty for multiple warnings. Uh, just Notorious is closing in on BW Clyde for 11th place. So he's, he's the only one that's closed. After all the pit stops, he's the only one that's closed in now. But BW Clyde and Notorious both pitted at the, yeah, both pitted at the same time. So it'll be interesting to see how he can capitalise on it. But looking at it now, it's just... Ah, he's pulling away, BW Clyde. Uh, looking at it now, Fasconi's pitted. Fasconi has pitted. Same with Colin. Colin's pitted as well. Where's Gazaman? Gazaman will... Is Fasconi's got a five-second stop-go penalty for speeding the pit lane. That is a bomber for uh, Fasconi. But what can... He'll be on the soft tyre. What does... Uh, Gazaman, BW Clyde was retired. What's happened here? He must have crashed. I did not, I don't know where, oh yeah, he crashed, he crashed into the wall, I just saw it at the last minute there, that is just hard luck for BW Clyde, because I was expecting him to do well this season, oh, for Rosh Stanley, he's moved up to sixth, that is a cracking, cracking move from him, uh, SG says, got a lot to do though, he's he's going for a two stop, fast going, Colin looked to be going for the one stop, it is true, but uh, I think the two stop may be a lot more better, and more quicker, I might be wrong, but I think it's more quicker than the, the one stop because the softs will will do well at the minute, but they will, will be knackered after the at the end of the race. So we have to wait and see how it goes. But watching Tom, aka Tej, closing on Brennan, who's on nine year old, uh, nine year old, nine nine laps old of the soft tyre, but Tej is on the a little bit of the faster tyre. He has got DRS now. He should. I reckon by the DRS straight now, he should be able to get uh, on Brennan's for second place. And this will be a good move for Tom. Because uh, he's at, obviously, 21st, 14th and 12th in the league. Uh, oh, he nearly hit the Brennan's car there. But he did get 12th in the race the last time he raced at uh, Albert Park. Notorious has got... Uh, Tej. Oh, what a move! He, a perfect move from Tej. Perfect move from him. I'll just try to see where Notorious. Oh, I think Notorious crashed there again. Everyone's making mistakes on that um, on that fast chicane. Everyone's making mistakes on that fast chicane. Unbelievable. So we got the Ted train now. We got the Ted train now. We got Palo, who's on much quicker soft tire, much quicker soft tire. Um, so Brennan's is on, like I said, on the ten laps old soft tire itself but again 
it, this is going to be very tough to decide here because some people are doing the one stop and some people are doing the two stops around here. Uh, it's going to be very interesting stuff. But like I said, with Notorious gone, both Mercedes are out of the uh, Australian, Australian Grand Prix. We've got yellow flags on Sector 2 now. Not sure where that's come from. It may be from Colin, I think. Might be Robert Palos closing the on. Brennan's now. Uh, Want to try and get onto Ferocious Dan. Uh, but it looks like Palos could have closed in on Brennan's just before. The, the soft tire looks like he's struggling there, Brennan's. Oh, it looks like he's absolutely struggling. But Palos should have the best out here. What can he do? We might have a two in a bed. Two in a bed situation here. Oh! Craig's got a five second stop curve penalty um, for speed in the pit lane. But what a move from Palo. What a move from Palo. And he needed that because he needs to try and catch up to Tedge. This will be an opportunity now. Rick says big chance that the two stoppers will get stuck in traffic. I do agree with that one. I do absolutely agree with that one. But it just depends on how the guys can avoid all this. But. If he was racing, what would you have done? Would you have done the two stop? Would you have done for the one stop? For me personally, I would have done the one stop. Because I'm not, I wouldn't be quick enough to do it. The two stop, you have to be very quick. And uh, around here, I'm not that quick. But looking at it now, we've got Colin J closing in on F1 Richards 67 for seventh place. But absolutely unbelievable stuff here now. We're on lap 12 of the Australian Grand Prix absolutely insane oh what a, oh he's got through what a move that's a beautiful beautiful fast chicane from Colin J Colin Jane that's a cracking cracking move I have never seen that uh, perfect run there absolutely insane stuff but Colin J obviously in the faster uh, soft tyres I was like faster but he's just pitted recently uh, Craig oh F1 Richard has pitted um, Rick says he would go for the one stop. Fair dues, fair dues. Where's Craig? Craig's on the quicker tyre now. What does Mike do? Mike's, uh, oh, Mike's trying to hold on. He's got nine laps. Two, two good mates off track. What, will that be good mates on track as well? And Craig has passed him. Craig's passed him, passed Mike. Uh, obviously Mike's on the older soft tyres from lap, uh, 10 laps onwards. But it's just absolutely insane stuff. Gaza man improving left, right, and centre in first place. You've got Tedge in second, you've got Palo in third, Brennan's is in fourth, Ferocious is down in fifth, Fasconi in sixth, Colin J in seventh, Craig in eighth, Mike in ninth, uh, Nigel Gash in tenth, F1 Richard in eleventh, and O Steven in twelfth. Again, I'll, I'll, the gaps are a little bit bigger now because of all the pit stops. But watching it now, um, I'm going to go through the the drivers quickly until we get uh, a quicker um, until we get the gaps uh, smaller. Obviously, Gazaman he's impressing me left, right, and centre, especially in Austria. And I know I keep saying it, but Austria he did absolutely fantastic stuff. Bobby, absolutely fantastic stuff. But I think. If he does it perfectly, I reckon he'll do another... He has to do another stop. Anyway. Because I don't think the super softs will last up to lap 29. So I think he'll probably go for ultra softs. If he can hold on. but Or maybe another super softs. Who knows? Who knows? Um, but he's impressing me uh, for uh, since since the Austrian Grand Prix. Which is the, the pre-season race one. Um, we do have... For Invictus Racing Leagues, we have got the other leagues. Uh, we've got the No Assist League on Monday nights at 8 p.m. We've got the, the Performance League on um, the Tuesday nights. We've got Performance League 1 and 2. And then we've got the Equal Leagues, which we've got the F3 League running now, but also F1 and F2 running at the same time as well. And it's just insane. Uh, and then we also got a brand new league of the PC League on the Sunday nights. Uh, so we have to wait and see how... Uh, it goes there, but we've got Palo closing on Tedge. Palos, his soft tyres will kick in right now, now. Now, 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 now. Um, but looking at it now, Tedge will do everything possible in the Ferrari 
to hold on on that car. But he's Palos got the DRS, not close enough to um, to Tej. But we might have another battle going on between Nigel Gash and F1 Richard soon. Tej slowed down a little bit on the first corner, just didn't want to hit the grass. But will he try and hold on? F1 Richard, F1 Richard, I'm going to go back to F1 Richard, they're closing on Nigel Gash now. We might have a little bit of a tie there, but where's Palo? Palo's closing on Tej. Palo's closing on Tej. Craig's got the fastest lap of 125.5. That is absolutely unbelievable lap from Craig. Absolutely unbelievable. And you can tell my voice is gone. My voice is down because of that excitement of the first few laps. Absolutely unbelievable stuff. And it'll be absolutely nerve-wracking stuff now. Uh, I want to see if we might see another battle going on. Whoever's closest. F1 Richard. F1 Richard closing on Nitro Gash now. Closing in there. But still not doing everything possible to try and get past Nitro Gash for F1 Richard. Um, Palo, Palo closing on Tej now. Still, still holding on. The Haas trying to clutch the Ferrari in for second place. Oh, Ferrari stand, Ferrari stand closing on Brennan's now. Absolutely insane stuff. But F1 Richard. Oh, nearly. Uh, Palo, Palo, Palo's in a good position. Uh, if he can take the softs to the end, that's from SJD. You might be right there. Like I said, the one stop may work. Oh, jeez, Louise, where's Ferocistan? Ferocistan, close in. Go for it. Ferocistan, go for the inside. Oh, side by side. But where's. Oh, what a move. Palo's done it. But Tej's going to the inside. Oh. I don't know, there was a little bit of contact there, but a little bit of contact. Because of that, he's lost out a little bit of time. But where's Ferrari stand? Ferrari stand going for the inside. No, I thought he was going for the inside there. But look at it now. That is just insane stuff. But Nigel gets to go straight or defensive on the inside. Side by side two in a bed. Beautiful from F1 Richard. What a move from him. Absolutely fantastic move from him. But where's Ferrari stand? Oh, we might have a three car bow here. Oh, please, please, I am asking for a three in a bed situation here. We might have two already with Fasconi closing in on Ferocious Stan. Oh, he's, they're being cautious around uh, around um, the fast chicane from sector two to into sector three, sorry. They're trying to be absolutely cautious here, but absolutely insane. Boy. So... Ferocious Stan really eager to try and get past Brennan's gap, gap through. Oh, Brennan's pitted. Oh, we we're always going to see a three in the bed, but we, we, DRS. Ferocious Stan had the DRS as well from Brennan's. So now uh, Fasconi, the the pole sitter uh, from this race, is in fifth place at the minute. Brennan's did 15 laps of the soft tire. I reckon he'd go for the super soft. Yeah, he'd go for the super softs. So Craig's moved up to seventh because of uh, Brennan's pitted. So Fasconi is still closing on on uh, on Ferocistan for fourth place. But Ferocistan does well on the corners here. So it'd be interesting to see. Mike's moved up to 14th. Uh, sorry, 14th. Uh, Mike's moved up to eighth. Sorry, I was watching the uh, the laps for the soft tyre. That's my excuse on that one. Uh, I need to go to Spectre Savers on that one. So just what is watching Fasconi now closing on Ferocistan. Closing in, but it's not doing everything possible because he got he should be catching up, but it's a little bit, a little bit tossed, um there. But watching it now, absolutely insane stuff. But again, looking at it from the times point of view, the leader stuff normally with the tyres, if Gazaman pits, he'll be back into sixth, possibly. Sixth, yeah. Um, maybe lucky fifth if he doesn't get any in any injuries. Um, but doubt it very much. But have to wait and see. But looking at it now, based on the timings, uh, I think it's about normally 20 seconds to 25 seconds for the pit stop, or 23 seconds. So uh, Rick says yes, but it, is it possible? Uh, was, is it possible to make 21 laps on softs? You'll be risking it for a biscuit. 
I would say, if you did that, and you did it on lap 8, mm, lap 7, sorry, yeah, lap 7, so, oh, this is going to be <laughs> absolutely insane stuff, absolutely insane, but it depends, I think, if, if Paolo drops, he'll be back to 7th, well, he'll be dropped down to 7th, looking at it now, uh, it's going to be very interesting stuff, but, Still watching Fascoli try to close it on Fasco. Oh, it lost it on the fast chicane because of that. Colin J is closing in on Fasconi. What can Fasconi is going straight to the defensive mode now? It's still going for the defensive mode, but what can Fasconi do? Will he try and hold on? He's got to do defensive now because of that mistake and try and push to try and catch up to Ferraris and stand. Now, Colin J has got a chance now to try and catch up to Fasconi. Fasconi looks like he's struggling. Uh, Tedros got a five second stop go penalty, speeding in the pit lane. Unbelievable stuff. Uh, SG. Oh, what? what oh, I thought Colin J had gone for it there. That would have been a cracking move if he did it straight away there, but he loses a little bit of time there. SGD says, I think so. Softs were really durable in the No Assist League. I set my fastest lap on the last lap of the 18 lap stint. As long as he takes care of them, he should be okay. Oh. It depends. It depends how he can capitalise on it. Um, Rick says, okay. Okay. Um, what can Brennan do? Brennan is on the faster super softs. Mike's on 16 laps of the soft tyre. He'll have to pit possibly lap 22 to go on the ultras. That's his opportunity there. But Colin, closing, Colin closing in on fast going now. Unbelievable stuff. Oh, I thought he looked like he was going to go for it there, but he's going for the inside. No. The fast chicane. They're trying to be delicate around the fast chicane. Just go for it. Just do it. Just go for it. It's not hard. That's it. Just go for it. I know it's hard because it just happens, but it's just natural. But if you can delicate around there, it's just fantastic stuff. But Brennan's closing on Mike. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez, Louise. That would have been dis that would have been a, a massive, massive disaster for Brennons because of my going back into the racing line on that one. Oh, Brennons! Gazaman pits. Gazaman's pitted. What is he going to go on? He's going on super softs again. He's going on super. He's going for the safe option. He's going for the safe option. That's uh, the safe option up there. But where has he come out? Oh, he's already out. He's already on fifth place. Respectively. Uh, Rick says, you had a great place to do fast slap on 18 old laps. Too bad you spun on the, fa the fast chicane. This was uh, D in the Gnosis League. Uh, last uh, Brennan's moved up to, to 7. That was a, a great move from him. I didn't see that, sorry, but that is just absolutely insane stuff. But Nordic has done a 17 laps on soft tyres, so he's doing everything possible to try and get holding up the last points of this league for this race. This this race um, I hope you're enjoying it so far guys we're on lap 20 or 29 of the Invictus Racing League F3 League of the glorious race of Australia Albert Park I oh, absolutely love this track absolutely love it <laughs> I'm loving it oh yes here we go what can uh, the guys are absolutely split out a little bit here now but Palo's in the lead with uh, if you can keep that going it looks like he's pulling away bits here and there, but what can, can Ferocci stand catch up to Palo? Uh, possibly, possibly, but I have to wait and see how the others are doing. Now, but that's just put my form book down and out now. I said, uh, I can't remember who said that, I said Gaza man. Uh, I didn't say Pascal, uh, Ted just done a fastest lap of 125 flat. What? That's a fantastic lap from him. Yeah, still trying everything possible but Craig the original Flying Scotsman closed the on Nigel Gash for 10th place and he is on he just pitted for the fresh super softs as well so this this is a massive opportunity to get past Nigel Gash now not in this one but possibly in the next lap or so but this is a great opportunity for Craig to get back into the point situation here now and he has returned to the F3 league for the first oh what's happened to Gazaman I don't know what happened between Gazaman and Colin. I, I did not see that because I was watching Craig 
Collins got a three second time penalty for multiple warnings. So, Nigel Gas is struggling with a soft tyre. Still on 18 laps, but oh, really loses it there. But Craig's doing everything possible to try and pressure Nigel Gash for 10th place, respectively. But what a lap, what some great. Uh, I can't even really say anything now. Um, what can Craig do? Craig should have the boost now of this. Nigel Gash trying to do everything possible to try and catch up to the other guys at the top, but Nigel Gash trying to be delicate around here. Oh, Craig should have the opportunity here. Ted just done the fastest ever. 124. Oh, what a move! What a move! What a move from Craig! What a move from him! Absolutely fantastic move from him. I know Nigel Gash is on older tyres, but Craig had to get past him as quickly as possible to try and at least catch up to the ninth of F1 Richard. Nigel Gash has pitted. Nigel Gash will be pitted. It should be on Ultra Softs, trying it to uh, some, uh, try and catch up with the others as well. But watching the guys as well, uh, Paolo's pulling away from Ferocious Dad for first and second place, and he's doing a cracking, 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 cracking race from him. But Ferocious Dad is slowly closing in on Paolo, but ooh, what can you do? What can you do? Uh, we're on lap 22 or 29 of this race. Send us your driver of the day so far. No, it's only lap 22, but send us your driver of the day on the comments, on the chats. Um, it'd be fantastic to hear your views, to see what you think uh, has done you proud. Who's, who's the driver that says, yes, this is the one to uh, done fantastically well? Um, looking at the stops, Fasconi, Ferocious and Palo. I've all done the one stop. Gazaman closing on Fasconi has done the two stop. Same with Tedge on sixth place, but Colin Jay on still on fifth did the one stop. We're still closing in on um, Gazaman still closing on Fasconi now. It'll be a fight to the finish now. Uh, oh, Gazaman he lost it there a little bit there, but hopefully it did not compromise too much. Fasconi is on older soft tyres, so this may be an opportunity here. But oh, this is. So Fasco is still closing in on, trying to close in for Ocean but he may have to watch out for Gazaman here. Gazaman still holding on for, trying to get onto the fourth, but Fasco tries to avoid hitting the cone there, but he's going wide. Oh! Oh, he's Gazaman going to the outside! Ah, oh, two in a bit! Two in a bit! What a move! Fantastic move! He had to pull it off there for Gazaman. He has improved left, right, and centre. The Red Bull has definitely got the wings there. An absolutely fantastic, fantastic overtake. He needs to do that as soon as possible, and he's done that well. He's in the podium place, and that is a cracking, lap, uh, cracking uh, move from him. So he's he's on the charge to try and catch up to Ferocious Dan, who is on the, the first corner already, but he's closing in now. Gazaman's closing in. All right. Um, I told you guys who you think tells your views of the driver of the day. Here's a question for you. Do you think Gazaman will catch up to Ferocious Dan? Or do you think it's too much to ask? What's your views, guys? Do you think do you think Gazaman will catch up to Ferocious Dan? Or do you think it will be um it'll be too much for the last six la five, six laps? So just watching Gazaman's closing in a little bit here and there. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Not doing the DJ moment here, but watching Gazaman trying to close in on that one. Uh, oh, Stephen, let them letting uh, Ferocious Dan through, and same with uh, Gazaman here. Uh, so Rick says, "Oh yes, oh yes, he got him." Uh, Gaz, uh, said, "Gazaman will get second. I think Palo is a bit too much." Nigel Gash has done a 123.9. That's a cracking lap from him on the Ultra Softs. That's a cracking lap from him. Fantastic lap from Nigel Gash. Um, I do agree by looking at the the leaderboard and stuff. Eight seconds from um, between Gazaman and Palo. It's going to be very tough for him. It's going to be very tough, but I reckon he will close in on Ferocious Down for seconds. So you might be right there, SJD. Ferocious Dan on 16 laps of soft tyre. 
Will they hold on? Will they hold on? Rick says, I mean, he will get him. Uh, he will get him. He will get P2. Oh, okay, sorry, my bad. It, it's the Midlands uh, understanding on that one, so. Bobby. So, watching Gazaman now, closing the arm for Rosh Dan. On his debut F1, uh, F F1, on his debut F3 season, and he's doing a cracking, cracking race so far. And it's been a great driving race throughout the, the, um, for the air. But it's just absolutely fantastic stuff. Uh, just watching, uh, Gazman try to close in on Ferrari stand, but might try and close. Oh, oh no! Ferrari stand lost it after the fast chicane. He hit the wall. Same with all the other drivers. Craig's got a three-second time penalty for multiple warnings. That is rotten luck. And I feel bad because it's like a commentator's curse. Ferrari Stan did a fantastic drive. And I said he did a fantastic drive. And then all that. And then he's like, bang. And Silly Bang will not be happy with that afterwards. It's just absolutely unbelievable stuff. But Craig's going on the inside. Oh! Stuff. This is unbelievable. Uh, Rick says another victim on the fast chicane. But Rick, but Craig, Craig, Craig. Oh, beautiful move, beautiful move. Uh, SGD says, oh man, good for Dan. Yeah, I, I do agree. All oh, F1 Richard saw the little bit of gap. They, these two had a little bit of a collision at this, uh, about lap two of the race. But these two are having a ding-dong battle here. But Craig should have the advantage now on the faster tyre. Oh, Craig's a little bit hit the grass a little bit there. But can F1 Richard try and close in? In honesty, I don't think he's got the pace, but looks like he has a little bit. But Craig is doing everything possible. Um, SGD says the war, that war is worse than the war champions. Okay. I was just about to say that earlier. I was just about to say, do you think that's... Would you compare that to the war of champions in Canada? Or would you say something differently with that track as well? Because it is worse. Because if you touch the grass or touch the kerb and you don't get it spot on, you will hit the wall. And that's what's the victim of the the last uh, five drivers. Uh, well, four drivers hit the wall. The, I call it the Australian wall. You have, you've got the Chinese wall, but now you've got the Australian wall of that one on the fast chicane. The Australian fast chicane wall. That's what you call it. Obviously, they're trying to be delicate here. F1 Richard has got a three-second time penalty for multiple warnings. Gazaman, five seconds from Palo. Oh, Palo's holding on. Palo is holding. Uh, Rick says, yes, it's just hard to control the car there. Then they're not the world champions. I do agree with that one. But uh, what does Tom do? Tom's, uh, Tom is trying everything possible to try and close in on Colin J. Gazaman's closing in on Palo for se from second. And he's dropping down, dropping down flies here. But it's just unbelievable stuff. But what can Tom do? Tom in the Ferrari is holding on. So both. Oh, this is absolutely unbelievable stuff. Both Haas cars in first and fourth, respectively, doing everything possible. But Tom in the faster super softs. Might have an opportunity here to get the DRS straight. Try to avoid the, the war the war Australians there. It's just here we go. What can he do? Tom Tom should have the inside. Go for the inside. Oh What a move! Oh beautiful! Oh beautiful move from Tom. That is beautiful stuff. Absolutely fantastic. Hopefully that does not compromise. So Coin J will drop down to fifth now. So Tom moves up to fourth. Where is Gazaman? Gazaman's dropped right down from two seconds. We're on two laps left. Ricardo moved there, Rick. Spot on there. Spot on there. And respectful there. At his home Grand Prix. Um, Ricardo's. Do the move. Oh, Gazaman nearly lost it there. So he might lose a little bit of a few tenths there. Oh, he's lost, he only lost a few hundreds there. But, oh my God. Where is Palo? Palo's coming up to the awkward corner. Where... Gazaman, Gazaman's there. He can see. Gazaman can see. Palo. Palo's tyres must be absolutely screaming now. He must be absolutely screaming. Gazaman might win this here. He might win this. But what can he do? 
Tell us your thoughts, guys. Will you do it? Two laps left. This will be coming up to... The, this is the penultimate lap, actually, sorry. But we're coming up to the last lap in a minute. Oh, it might be close. There's Palo. Palo's struggling. Palo is struggling, but... Gazaman will be saying, the win's there. Will he do it? The Red Bull. Red Bull, if he's got the Ricardo car, that would have been a fantastic opportunity here. Absolutely stuff. This is an opportunity here. 1.5 seconds. He's got to get them by the f after the fast chicane. He's got to meet him by the fast chicane. Otherwise, no good. No good. Oh, my God. This is a tense... Tent to lie. Uh, okay. Electrifying. Oh, last lap here. Absolutely insane. I really want to go and see Craig. I'm going to see him quickly. Oh, a little bit of touch. A little bit of touch from Mike. Ah, oh, respectful driving, guys. Respectful driving. Um, Craig touched a little bit from Mike's car, but he let him through. Respected driving there. Rick. Rick says, wow, hell of an end. Absolutely unbelievable. Belters. Gazaman. Absolutely watching it from the car view here. What can he do? I said he has to meet him by the fashion cane, and he nearly does. We might have a photo finish here. Oh, my God. Please, please, we might have a photo finish. Oh, Paolo's holding on. Paolo's holding on, but Gazaman might want to go for the inside. He might hold on. Oh, he won't. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. You can do it if you're being cute. Oh, my God. Where is going on? This is a chance. 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 Oh, sorry. By side. Oh, you've got. No, he won't do it. He won't do it. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. By 10th. Absolutely unbelievable stuff. Absolutely unbelievable. I said side by side. I do apologise. It would look like it was going to be a final finish by side by side. But Gazaman. On. Uh, Paolo. Gazaman. Unbelievable stuff. What end. What end to the race. Absolutely unbelievable. Fantastic for Paolo. Um, to finish first. With 22 laps of the, the soft tyre. Mike's done 26 laps. Of the soft tyre. Fair play to him. Fair play. Unbelievable stuff. Yeah, SJD says, "Well, great driving from Gazaman in those last few laps. Really unlucky. I do, I do feel sorry for Gazaman. I think if that, I think there must have been a little bit of that uh, mistake that I saw that he clipped on the like the grass and stuff, like in the last few laps. I think if he didn't do that, I think he might have just caught him." Rick says, wow, great end of the race. Great job there. C congrats, Paolo, Gazaman, and Vasco. And Rick says, I do agree with that one. What a, what a race. And I, te I said this from the start. Cracking, cracking laps. Cracking, cracking race at Australia. Absolutely unbelievable stuff. Well done to Paolo. Well done to Gazaman. And well done to Fascone, who's proved me wrong. Because I did say at the early at the start of the race that he was struggling in the races. But he didn't tonight but he's proved me wrong and he's done a cracking job for the Irish crew here so the flying Irishman doing it well for the third place respectively uh, SGD says fast going proving you wrong and I did say that just so yeah he's proved me wrong so fair play to Gazaman I knew he was going to get in the top two uh, top three sorry but what a lap what a fantastic stuff uh, Paolo in first Gazaman in second fast going in third well done to the top three Tej in fourth Colin J in fifth uh, Brennan is in sixth Mike's in 7th, uh, Craig's in 8th, F1 Richard is in 9th, Nigel Gush is in 10th, O. Stevens in 11th, Ferocious Dan is in 12th, Notorious is in 13th, B.W. Clyde is in 14th, uh, Spud is in 15th, and Captain Stiff is in 16th, but the last five drivers from Ferocious Dan to Captain Stiff have all had DNFs. So I'm going through all the incidents now, so for the guys who, uh, for the stewards, they can see what's happened there as well. But I'm going to bring Paolo, Gazaman and Vascona into the chat for their um, for their um, for their interviews. So if you hold on for a few more minutes, we'll get them in. Uh, SJD says, cheers for the commentary, Mark. Top job as always. Cheers for that, SJD. Nice one. Thank you very much, mate. If you stay over for um, to listen to the the chats, that would be fantastic. Uh, if you bear with me a sec, guys, I'm just going to invite them in now.
So I'm waiting for the guys to, I'm sorry, I'm waiting for the guys to join in with the uh, party and stuff. So I'm just waiting for, hopefully Gazman looks like he's left, but obviously he hasn't. Uh, just watching. Hopefully we'll bring the guys in now. Uh, Rick says, yes, you were right, SGD. Great job, Mark. Cheers for that, Rick. Cheers for that, SGD. Much appreciated, guys. So if you just stay for a few more minutes, we'll get the interviews going in. Hopefully they'll join me in a bit. If not, we'll have to wait and see. Fasconi, how you doing? Um, can you uh, make sure you've got your voice a little bit uh, turned up, sorry, and make sure you allow voice to be shared as well. Gazaman, hello. How hello, you doing? Um, I'm yes, all right. Um, can some of you, can one of you invite Paolo to the chat, please, guys, because I don't think we've got him on there. Uh, while the guys are prepped up for the... Um, the allow voice to be shared on the the chat and make sure they can hear their voices as well so you guys can hear what their their views and stuff as well um just waiting for Paolo to uh, uh did you send the invite uh Paolo uh let me just sorry about the yeah, it's like... I think that's the one. So we're just waiting for the guys to get themselves prepped up. Um, uh, just waiting for Palo to join as well. Uh, if he's still there. Um... But yeah, we're just waiting for the guys to get themselves... Uh, get a quick drink, guys, if you want, while I'm waiting for Paolo to join. Hopefully it won't be too long. Um, if he's... Ah. I'm just going to invite him again. Oh, okay, cool. We're sorry about this, guys. We we will be doing the interviews in a minute. We'll just try and make sure Paolo joins us. Ah, here we go. You alright, Paolo? How you doing? Um, make sure you got your allow voice to be shared is on. Uh, before you do the, in we're just doing the interviews. So while well, Paolo, um. Just for the guys to make sure they get themselves prepped up. Uh, if they go to the party settings on the part, and then on the and, and then you got the allow voice to be shared option. Just make sure it's always allow is on. Cool, nice one. We're sorry right. for any technical difficulties, yeah. guys. Um, can you uh, can you uh, Fasconi and Paolo, can you make sure you get your uh, microphones a little bit tad up, please? Because I think SJD can't hear you two, or you've okay. got any of the guys. Um, so while the guys are prepped up, I will ask a few of the guys, uh, well, Paolo and Gazaman especially, they'll be like, Gazaman will be kicking himself afterwards, and he will know it when I'm asking him in a bit. Um, so Paolo, Fas Fasconi, you guys ready? Yeah? Yeah, sure. Uh, is mine good now? Yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes. Um, okay. Paolo, how you doing, mate? You all right? Uh, well, my heart, my heart racing now. Your heart racing now. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I can't even talk properly. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Paolo, Paolo, um, it's just absolutely. From watching it from the last lap. I bet you had your heart in your mouth and you had you had bucket full of sweat after all that from Gazaman. Um what's your thoughts? Did you expect it to go for the one stop or did you was you thinking of going for the two stop tonight? Um well when I was sort of behind uh Cage I think, I always thought that everyone was gonna be on a one stop, so I never really thought we could get a win. But then I saw that he was on super softs and I mean, I knew that there was people behind me 
yeah that could hold him up so yeah. in the end i was sort of just calculating in my head uh how how close he'd be at the end and yeah i mean looking at it now i mean i will speak to gazman about it but i think he made one little mistake which is just caught that tenth to hold on for the mm. first but but yeah, I mean, you did a magnificent drive, Paolo. Um, it's just, it's just unbelievable pace. I mean, I, I mean, I, I'm speechless because that was a cracking, cracking race from you. Uh, did you ever think he was going to win it tonight, or did you think he was just hoping for the top half finish tonight? Um, I have been practicing in Australia. Oh, quite right. a lot oh okay. This week, but uh, when I saw the qualifying. I thought I'd be up there and it was so close. Yeah. Because it was like half a second, I think, top 10 or something. Yeah. It was. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, imagine as a commentator, imagine as a viewer, imagine everyone watching this, you'd be like on the edge of your seat thinking, is someone going to beat this times? It was just unbelievable. But cracking, but overall, it's the race pace that counts. And you did a cracking race and I, I can't stop repeating it, but you did so well. Um, and, and that all, all that practice has paid off tonight. And that's a cracking start for the F3 league uh, for yourself. Um, but we'll come back to you if you, if it's okay to talk about the Bahrain as a, as a group thing quickly. So if you hold on yeah. for a few more minutes, cheers for that, mate. Gazaman, Gazaman. Uh, oh, Gazaman. I bet you was like cursing at the no. end there. No. I bet you're yeah, cursing. I, oh, yeah, no. I, I was so close. I made one mistake or, t or two mistakes, which cost me the race. But right. um, yeah. I tried my best. Yeah, don't get me wrong, guys, man. Even the viewers, even myself, was doubting. I knew you'd get second based on catching up and stuff, but it was unfortunate about what happened with Dan and stuff at the the race that happened. Yeah, but, yeah. But that was just like it, it's a kick in the teeth after after all that work you did so well to get back in you i was shouting you can see palo <laughs> in front of you you can do it and at one point i thought this is going to be like a photo finish unbelievable stuff but yeah of course but yeah um where was the mistakes that you noticed because I noticed one of them that you uh, must have been by the fast chicane, you know, after second sector into third, I think. But yeah, I so can't remember I got stuck one. in traffic, I got stuck in traffic, paints fast going for a bit and paints a few other cars. And then I I messed up in the first corner, corner one, yeah, and I messed up in the fast chicane, yeah, I just yeah. I, missed, I missed apex, so yeah, yeah. I wasn't the best. Oh, no. I, I, I feel for you, actually, because it's just absolutely gutting when you've done all that work. Catching up, you can see Paolo, you, you need a fishing rod and just bring it in, reel it in, <laughs> <laughs> to drink it in. Yeah. You know, to bring it in. But it was absolutely gutting. I mean, I've, uh, this, I think you're going to have a cracking season based on the paces from you, yourself, Paolo, and Gazaman as well. So I'm looking forward to you two having a good ding-dong battle throughout the season. Yeah, um, that's the plan. So oh, I can't wait for that. And um, you've, like I said, Gazman, you've improved a hell of a lot since you joined, and you've done a cracking job tonight. So if you stay behind for Thank a bit, um, yeah. for the Bahrain talk about for next week, if that's all right. Fasconi, yeah. Fasconi, you've you've proved me wrong in the qualifying. You've proved yeah. me wrong in the race because <laughs> with the commentator's curse. Um, normally I say Vasconi does well in the qualifying but then he messes up in the race not in that way yeah. but like you normally do but you've proved me wrong tonight and you've done a cracking race you, you've proved I keep saying you've proved me wrong and I need you to keep doing that the, throughout the whole season because I'll try him out that's the aim anyway that's the aim fair dues fair dues um, where, was that, where did that lap come from the qualifying yeah oof, I don't know it's just a just all hit the right spot at the right time, Mug. Yeah. Fair Which all came together nicely, you know? Yeah. Well, it's like, I, I didn't hear anything from the weather crew or anything like that, so I'm just, was it going to be like a wet race? Was it going to be a dry race? We'd have to wait and see how it goes and stuff. But Yeah. Um, but that was a cracking lap from you, Fasconi. I've never seen that. Cheers, mate. Um, Cheers, mate. Did you, did you think you would have gone up to 
Were you getting like first second, or did you think it was too much after you had that qualifying start? Obviously. To tell you the truth, Mark, what, ha what was good in qualifying sort of spoiled the race for me because I was uh, rear happy. I was over steering like crazy. Oh really? Oh okay. Yeah, the back end was stepping out constantly, and the guys were catching up to me big time. Yeah, uh, so what worked for quality didn't work for the race. Oh okay. Oh yeah. okay. But yeah, um, I don't know if it's, it could be the setup, could be anything. We know, we, it, who knows? But yeah. But I think so. It was uh, it was just. Too much air balance on the back, I think. Yeah, but don't say too much for your setups because everyone will be hearing your tactics. Oh, Fasco. sure, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, Fasco, you did a cracking race tonight, and uh, if I had a champagne, I would deliver it to the the Flying Irishman for you. That's it. The Flying Irishman family man. That's it. Yeah, so, true. I found um, it, yeah. But yeah, uh, if you guys, I'll, I'll start from Pub. Pablo, uh, Gazman, and then yourself, Ascari. What are your thoughts of Bahrain next week? Do you th what's your chances? Do you think you've got a good chance, bad chance, or see how it goes, Pablo? Um, well, today was a lot on strategy, so hopefully I've got the pace, but I think I've just got to try and get a bit faster in qualifying. Yeah. Because I'd uh, make a few old takes to get in good positions yeah oh, okay it, it is a tough track isn't it especially when it's like tired deck as well around uh, mm -hmm. bar rain so if you could get perfect obviously if you get a perfect lap and then you get some good setups you'd be like laughing yourself out that's it so i'll wish you all the very best of luck on that one palo for next week and again Thank cracking you. race uh gazaman what's your thoughts of uh bar rain uh Top ten, I'm, I'm hoping for top eight. I no, don't, stop saying not, that. Stop saying that. It <laughs> I'm should not be a fan. <laughs> oh, really? You're not a big fan of uh, Bar It's a tyre rail. It's a, a tyre rail. I'm not too good on tyre. Oh, okay. Rail, but I'll try my best. Top five, I'll be very happy with. Oh, okay. Fair dues. Fair dues. Um, it, like I said, it could be. Forget top back 10, top 8. You should be aiming for the top 3 because I know you can do it if you're being curious on that one, Gazaman. So fair play to you. On, um, yeah, thank you. But yeah, so <laughs> again, well done for your second place tonight. And gutting. You could have been a cracking first with a photo finish and there would have been no cameras <laughs> for us to find out what happened. But fair play to you, mate. Well done for tonight. Thank and, you. And Fasconi, what's your thoughts of Bahrain for your race next week? I like Bahrain, uh, Mark. I like Bahrain, I like the track. I got my first ever Invictus podium at Bahrain. Yes, you did. In the in the performance league. Yes. So good me good memories of the place, you know. Um yeah, track I always enjoy it. I'm looking forward to it. So I'm expecting Fast going to get a pole, podium <laughs> yeah, podium position <laughs> on that one and a pole t t next week. So I'm putting my bets on, guys. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. But uh, yeah. but yeah, we'll have to wait and see how it goes. But Thank you very much, guys, for your uh, podium, uh, for your podiums tonight. And uh, well, cheers for staying over for asking a few of the questions tonight. And I'll leave you guys to have your chillaxing night. So cheers for that, guys. Nice cheers, one. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Uh, cheers. See you later, guys. Take care yourselves. <sighs> so, yeah. so while the guys are prepped up and ready to leave the podium and the questions and stuff, uh, they're just doing that now. Yep, so the guys here, they've done a cracking, it, I, I said this from the start, it was a cracking, cracking F3 race. Unbelievable stuff. Fasconi proved me wrong by getting pole. Gazaman, I knew he was going to get top three based on his performance in the preseason stuff. Palo, I've never seen. With a, I thought from the way it looked, it looked like Palo was just missed out. But Gazaman just misses out by a tenth, and he, he even said he got cursed by the two mistakes he's had. And I can't wait for the battle between them two. If it's going to be like that, it's going to be a cracking race from them two, and it'd be fantastic for everyone. There were a few little incidents here and there, but overall, I've enjoyed F3 tonight. I've enjoyed the, the race at Australia. I can't wait for Bahrain. I can't wait for the race. I can't wait for the, race, uh, the rest of the season. Uh, so next week we'll be at the glorious track of Bahrain. Um, thank you very much, guys, for watching tonight, and it's been a pleasure as always. Thank you to the guys who've commented, uh, 
commented, uh, commented on the chat as well. So SJD, Rick, thank you very much, guys, and everyone that was watching. Um, this is the Invictus F3 League, and uh, thank you very much. And uh, remember, guys, always, always remember, stay classy. All right. See you later, guys. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.